Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Growing Wild Farm and Garden where we're going to be talking about the bees. I have condensed two hours of inspections into the next 11 to 12 minutes. I hope you like it. and see if they have any wax moths because that's what we found in the honey that we just took off some of those frames that we collected a couple weeks ago. So it is what it is. Hope you enjoy. We're in a dearth right now, which means there's no nectar coming in, or not much, so they might be a little bit more angry than normal. That's what capped honey looks like right there. You can see down there where it's open that they haven't capped it yet, but that's... pretty good. I also didn't see any max, uh, wax moths on that one, which is good. There's another frame of almost completely capped. I can't tell, but it looks like it's possible on this side that uh, they actually opened up some because I'm pretty sure this was a lot fuller on the other side before capped wise. Okay, I was probably wrong because I know this one didn't have any capped honey on it before, so they're filling them up and still capping them off. Which is good, it means there's nectar somewhere. And I thought, we didn't have any right now, so it's kind of a good sign. And they've built more wax on this one too, so they're still bringing it in. Uh-oh. On that one though, I see some caterpillar poop. That wasn't a good idea. Luckily, my bees are pretty gentle, so even this, they probably, they might be irritated at me, but they'll be fine. Now, since I saw caterpillar poop on that one, I'm going to check the other frame that it was right next to and see if I see anything bad. Okay, so... I do see more caterpillar poop, but I do not see any damage or any caterpillars. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it on the camera, but right down here especially, there's a black dot. And then there's another one up above it somewhere. That's caterpillar poop. It's rectangular-ish, cylindrical-ish. But the problem is, is I don't see any webbing that would definitely match the size of a caterpillar that size. So 
I'm wondering if it just traveled down the frame into the other box because I've checked all of these frames and I've only seen it on those two. So that's a bad sign. Kind of sucks, but maybe it's in the next, the next box. While I got these frames out, I'm going to clean the propolis off of them to make it easier to put these frames back in later. That is almost completely capped on both sides. If I wanted to, I could take this one if I had another frame to give them to replace it. But the other frames that I have right now need to be frozen because they had wax moths on them, which means there might be more eggs, and I can't give them that. So I do see a bunch of hive beetles in the Swiffer Sweeper traps that I put down in there. That's not good, but at least they're getting caught. So now we're in the brood boxes where all the baby bees go, and if there are any hive beetle larvae or probably wax moth larvae, they're going to be in there. Alpha Hive officially has a laying queen. I don't see her on this frame, but I see lots of eggs and baby bees, and that makes me very happy. I don't know if you'll be able to see any of this, but I'm going to turn it towards the camera and see. Maybe it'll focus. Hopefully it will. There are eggs everywhere. I'm so happy. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm also still not seeing any damage or caterpillars or poops or anything. So I'm, I don't know if the bees somehow managed to take care of this or not. This is just kind of amazing me. Although I still have this rest of this box, about half this box and a full other box to check just to be sure. Looking for Webby things um like kind of like spider webs honestly really fine spider webs and they what they'll do is they'll tunnel through the wax and they'll make these webs and destroy the comb i found the queen yeah. right there in that middle she's Laying eggs. Where is she? Do you see her? No. She's right there. Where? She's right there. Right there. The big butt. Right there. That queen is moving fast. Yep. I've got her in the light. She's freaking out a little. So, we're on the last box on the last two frames, I haven't seen any wax moth damage, I haven't seen any hive beetle larva, uh, no webs, no anything. So I think my bees have pretty much taken care of it, and that it, that's exciting. Um, I gave them a frame of uh, baby bees, eggs from the other hive last time I was in here, but it looks like they didn't need it because they have a laying queen and that frame didn't have any queen cells on it like I was expecting to find right around now. Today would be 16 days since I was in there last, so they would have been hatching around now. Um, I didn't see that. I've got a laying queen. So that means everything's good in this hive so far. Unless they see something on those last two frames. It looks like we're good. 
That's it, folks. Everybody's good. All right, so we're all done. I checked both hives. I didn't really check Bravo Hive, you know, frame by frame. I just sort of looked in on them. Alpha Hive looks great. I didn't see anything in Alpha Hive, and I'm super surprised by it. I was expecting to find wax moths. I did see those small hive beetles, but they were in the little traps. I didn't see small hive beetles anywhere else. Um, I saw no damage. I saw no larva. I saw no little anythings that weren't supposed to be there. Um, I saw that today we have a laying queen, and she's been laying for at least a week, it looks like, because there was um, capped brood in there. I'm going to check out her brood pattern just to be sure over the next little while but I mean from what all the eggs that I saw she's a laying master so we'll just we'll wait and see how she does so if you like this video go ahead and hit that like button and if you want to go ahead and hit that notification bell you can get notifications whenever I upload a new video so that you'll know exactly when it happens and then of course if you want to keep following along with not only the bee farm over here but the growth of the garden and the rest of the farm then go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can keep up but until then, guys, uh, hit me up on Instagram, see us there at Growing Wild Farm and Garden, or if you prefer Facebook, we're Growing Wild Farm and Garden there too. And uh, we'll just see you on the next episode. All right. Thanks, guys.